Welcome, my fellow champions of the Shadow War. Irish Game Master here once again to show you how to make the most of this excellent game. Today, we're going to talk about how to spend our Mirian. If you've been watching my videos, you will know that I spent my last 3,000 gems on 65,000 Mirian. And today, I'm going to show you how to use it. The first and obvious way to use your Mirian is in the Stronghold. I'm going to tap on it. Now I can increase the capacity of my Stronghold by hunt with 120 Mirian. I can increase Minas Morgul for 90 and Udin for 25. However, right now, as you can see, I have reached my global capacity as, long, as well as my stronghold capacity for Mirian. So I'm not going to spend any Mirian on that just now until I catch up on making my orc army stronger. Now then, the only other, the only other place that you're really going to spend your Mirian will be on your champions. Let's go to the champion hall right now. Uh, we're going to choose a low level champion. Let's pick out Idril right here. As you can see, Idril here is still fairly low level, one star. Her reign of power is not very strong, so we have a lot to work on. She still needs runes, and her skills are still at the bottom. So, since we're already at skills, let's get started with that. What is Brutalize? Brutalize is nice. Does damage, stuns the enemy, and even does bonus damage to taunted enemies so I will upgrade brutalize to level 2 for 10 to level 3 for 15 to level 4 for 15 and so on and so forth as you I'm just gonna quickly upgrade brutalize to 10 as you can see the damage that brutalize does increases every time as well does the cost of upgrading now you'll see that I have reached go away now you see that I have reached a max here you can only upgrade their ability skills to the level of the champion itself I'm gonna go ahead and just upgrade throwing dagger ah oh, I didn't even realize this was here <laughs> you can spend 10 gems on 10 additional ability points once a day all right then now if you look at the top of the screen at Evolve, you'll see that I have 70 tokens for Idril. Tokens are how you upgrade your character's star level. By every time you upgrade their star, they become stronger and they get an increase in per level growth. Right now, she is a one star character and it will take five upgrades to get her to a two-star character. I should have plenty of tokens to get her to a two-star character. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let's see. First evolution will cost me 100 Mirian. Every evolution after that will have substantially increased costs. 100, 110, 130, 160, and finally 200 to make her a level two, a level, sorry, a two star character that cost me 35 character tokens fortunately for me if I want to upgrade Idril any further her character tokens are available in the fortress you we will go over how to get more character tokens in another video I'm gonna go ahead and evolve her to the max let's see Look at that. We are five tokens short of making her a three-star character. As you can also see, her power level has also increased. Although it has not increased very much because she is still low level, it has increased a little bit. So, the next obvious thing to do will be to give her some runes. Now, Idril is a very strong offensive character. She's an assassin, a deadly melee champion. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach a rune that 
works to that advantage and I believe I am going to go with ability power. I like to upgrade the ability powers of my characters because that falls in line with my game strategy. Your game strategy may revolve around high critical ratings or stronger attack. Every attack they do can do more damage in this way. It simply depends on how you build your team. The way I build my teams is around their ability powers. So, craft, upgrade, upgrade, equip. Level 3. Increase ability power by 7%. Very nice. You see her power level went up just a little bit with that as well. Now, finally, we're going to upgrade her reign of power. Now, also, the reign of power only upgrades in accordance to her level. So, let's go to level 3. Inscribe. Inscribe. Common runes right, can be crafted for free and inscribed for 10 million. Green runes can be crafted for free and inscribed for 100 million. Now, to enhance her range, she needs to be a character level 8. I am going to try to upgrade her reign of power all the way up. That requires character level 35. Unfortunately, I don't have enough experience scrolls for this, so we're just going to apply everything I've got, which will get her to level 23. This will be 975 million. Boom. Now, I need to spend some more time in the campaign. <laughs> All right, now I can enhance her reign of power. As you see, her power levels are rising. And once again, I am able to completely inscribe her ring as long as I have the inscriptions for it. Let's see if I run out of inscriptions before I can finish inscribing her ring. Although expensive, spending 3,000 Mirian, I'm oh, sorry, 3,000 gems on Mirian has enabled me to fully fund Idril. Well, at least to the point that I have experience tomes for. And here's the end of it. Level 4. Fortunately, I won't be able to get her to level four, level, level 5 anyway because I can't get her to level 35. Character level. But I'll go ahead and finish inscribing her reigns of power. Bringing her power level to 1,756. Now, if you have seen any of my champions, you know that Talion is already over power level 3000. So she's about medium powered for my team. However, you will find that certain missions have certain requirements. Some missions you will face en enemies that will have bonuses against elves or dwarves or men. So eventually you are going to want to diversify your team so that you can train I mean, sorry you can go into battle with different characters and not lose too much power over it now you can see at the top right of her ring of power there is a green level rune that I do not have so let's see about finding that alright I only need one vigilance 2 fragment which I can get at Minas Morgul or Udin. I prefer to farm higher level missions for these rune, for these inscriptions because you also get better experience. You have the possibilities of getting other inscriptions. So that's where we're going to go. We're just going to raid one time. I, oh! I never beat it in the first place. Well, that's just a problem. I'll have to do that later. We're talking about spending Mirian, not battling. Well, there you go. That's how you spend your Mirian in the game. And you can go through 
any of your characters. Likewise, craft and scribe. Evolve. As long as you have the Mirian to increase their strength. Ooh, 500 for that last one. 500, 550. And we're at a stop. As long as you have the Mirian, you can go through and increase the strength of your characters as much as you want. Now, in our next video, I will show you how to farm for those tokens. This is the Irish Game Master, over and out.